Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play More Time, City of the Damned, the Cult of the Possessed. I was asked which is the warbind bar bar with the highest possible potential. And these are, of course, the possessed. Why? Because of their skill tree. You see, most of the skills that you can get with the uh, warbands are nice, but not killers. But when you look for the Chaos guys, you will find that they have caused advantage, which means if they go into defensive stance of any kind, they have a chance to receive an offensive point and strike back. So let's say our little fellow here has got a sword and a shield and a high parrying skill, and you put him in Wheel of Steel action, and he has that in mastery. There is the chance that he can re-attack or counter-attack three times if he parries three times. So that is quite deadly. And if you think that is not enough, look at the following. They got a skill that is called Blood Offering. Which means the first attack they do with a one-handed weapon, for example, does normal damage. And every attack after that does 25% damage more and has a plus 5% critical chance. That is amazing. That is absolutely the killer on fools. Furthermore, well, they can get all the stuff that others can, besides weapons, because their weapon choice is very poor. They can get mutations, some of the heroes at least can. And that makes those heroes extremely dangerous, because if they get the wrong mutations, they suck. If they got the right mutations, they can get as fast as Skaven, or even faster. Well, if you train both to the same level, they will be equally fast, and even more deadly, because they can get a bonus to parry, they can get a bonus to initiative, they can get extra damage, extra uh, armor, uh, um, ignorance, and uh, they can get a lot of stuff, there's mutations, so that's really great. So let's first of all equip the guys. Of course we buy heavy armor, of course we buy helmets, of course we buy shields. Every shield that we can get we buy axes. Although axes are not what I have in mind, I want to buy a spear because we need fast weapons. A mace is welcome. A dagger is not my first choice because the damage is so low. I would rather go for an axe. Well, let's go for an axe. Does not matter that much. Um, let's go to the team. First of all, we will rarely cast with our hero. Although the spell is not bad, it has a chance to knock ourselves off the hoof, and we definitely don't want that to happen. As he's the most expensive guy in our team, he will get the best armor available, and he will get the highest initiative because he ha will have to get his ass out of the line if necessary. He can have the staff as secondary weapon. You will get a heavy armor as well because I need to keep you alive as well. You will get an, a heavy weapon, a heavy armor, and you will get a mace and a shield, and then a great axe. You will get an axe, and a dagger, and one more heavy armor for you. And the problem is, I don't have any shield for you yet, so you will have to do without. The main problem is here, can I forget about the damage? I did, oh, do I have no more good one-handed weapon? I get a great hammer. I could give him a great hammer, though. Or a great axe. Both has the same chance to be dodged, so that's bad. This one here does a little bit more damage. And I like axes, so... With all account... Get an axe as a secondary weapon. Good! Remember, the shield and the spear are just there for the first round, primarily to keep me alive. And. Okay, we take this one. Exploring one of the city's old residential districts, you quickly discover that you aren't alone. Another warband is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. Okay, um... We have just to find one guy, and they're obviously mercs, human mercs. You can tell that by the lucky charm thing. Um, could be worse, could be bad. I think it's okay for us. 
So, where is the enemy? We have no idea, but the loot is definitely... Oh, look at this. There is all the warp stone. Quite far away from us. Okay, but there is some stuff nearby. That's okay. You are the one without the armor, so you go here. You go here. And you go here. Okay, I bet they're in this building. They've got uh, at least two ranged fighters. You can already see the loot. So, we rely on our two-handed weapon for damage. As soon as we see an enemy. Okay, you. There is Birdstone ahead. And I don't see anyone, so okay. Go into an ambush stance. What? Oh crap, I didn't want to do that. Ambush stance. We want that Birdstone. I shouldn't go so far ahead with my commander. The others might not be able to fall. Ooh. 15 gold crowns, that's quite good. It's actually excellent. Let's see what else do we have? We should actually do a little scouting. Remember, we move in groups. Keep our shit together and we move in groups. You've got no shield? Are you kidding me? Oh. Not our problem, really. My main problem is that I cannot see anyone. I bet they're all in that building. The Chaos Armor looks impressive. Okay, why is this guy such a bad initiative? They cannot wear heavy armor. They cannot wear two-handed weapons. Has started. So, what else is left? In theory, he could have a blunderbuss. I think that reduces your initiative quite badly. Now look down, now their initiative is up again. No, no, it's still it's still that low. Hooray! Oh, there's their wagon. We can already see their wagon. Nice. I don't want to go empty-handed. Where is the problem with the possessed? Well, the main problem with the possessed is that you cannot uh, plan ahead what you're getting. Meaning, should we go inside or should, should we look around the corner? I don't see anyone here. Okay, um... Let's go into an arm stance. At least with the shield we have a little protection from ranged attacks. But it, it pains me that my hero is so far forward. But if we were able to reach their wagon, just think of the possibilities for a moment there. Taking their flag will ruin their moral. Although, do we want that? Because if they flee too early, we will not be able to take our lucky charm. That might be bad. Okay, you know the drill. Uh, I don't want to block the entrance. 
I should switch weapons. You're not as fast as I think you are, are you? Okay... Hmm... Where is the commander? Okay, as soon as I see a face I switched, I think I should already switch to two-handed weapons with everyone. But no, at the moment I need it for the movement. At this point I need it for the movement. A new round has started. They're faster than me. He cannot be wearing his halberd, I think he's wearing some kind of bow. Or dueling pistol? I think a pistol, that would explain the speed. Because I think a dueling pistol gives is fast and gives plus five percent to speed or five initiative to speed. Oh, he's already overloaded. Great. Can I look through there? There's someone, no. Not that I can see. Don't care. Yeah, we go for the wagon. The next... Oh yeah, it's quite far away. We will not be able to reach that in time. I really want that gold. 19 gold coins. And they have a good carrying capacity, this, because they're so strong. Okay, go into an armor stance. The moment I think I enter their, their card, they will be all over us. I should not stay in the in the break of the wall. That's a very bad position. Hmm. I really wonder where the dudes are. A new round has started. I think I see one. Yes, I see one. And that's the reason he's so fast, he's got a spear. <laughs> that hurt, did it? And uh, why can't I counterattack, please? Okay, um... Switch weapons. Oh, guess who's it? It's the guy we need. Excellent. We just have to loot him. They're not up to do any funny stuff, are they? Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> Already got that. Good, okay, okay, okay. Go into Ombud Stance. That was my mistake, totally. Okay, you loot the guy. I want the Lucky Charm, I want the Spear, I want Objective everything. Objective completed. What do they have in their wagon? Gold coins. Nice and welcome. And we're going to number stance. Yeah, two handed weapons. Get the idle. Hoo hoo. 
Oh, great. Now they will have to test moral before we can get to the other wordstone department. Well, I don't care. Did the job. Tactical victory on my side. But I got very, very, the very little wordstone. Of order shall be cast the triumph of chaos. Yay, 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 yay. Ooh, great. Someone did his job. We all even got a bonus for a uh, decisive victory. Oh god, we found a heavy armor. We're kissed by luck. Pay the upkeep. Excellent. And now to you. Um, what do we want to rise? We want to rise alertness, of course. Increases damage. Yeah, that's nice. Increases carrying capacity by one. But actually, I think we need this a little bit more because our melee resistance and our our uh, dodge chances are sucking. On the other hand. Oh well. Melee resistance is important. Damage is also important. We need damage before the other thing. Damage and alertness. Good. Oh, you've got a weapon skill, of course. Nice. Armor. Yeah, back to you. You, we have a golden and, 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 and wonderful. Armor absorption. Twenty. Oh, wonderful. Enchanting. Yeah, mark of accuracy. Mark of plus one intelligence. Ooh, look at this. We could, in theory, even buy that stuff. Toughness. Weapon skill. Agility. That is amazing. Who's without armor? You without armor. Get yourself armor. Okay. Good, 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 good. You can get yourself a shield. And you get the spear in one hand and the two-handed weapon in the other because we need speed. I'm not even sure that is working, but we'll see about that. We can go to the shop. And what is the amulet? Increases magic resistance. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. The helmet. I could really use a helmet. Whoa, I think that was the best starting mission ever. Nice helmet, by the way. Okay, here we go. We look good. Everything's fine. We'll see each other next time. Bye.